the Chinese Navy's anti-submarine helicopter Fox plays a critical role in maritime security and defense strategies. Operating from naval vessels such as destroyers, frigates, and aircraft carriers, these helicopters extend the reach and effectiveness of China's maritime surveillance and defense capabilities. Driven by the need to counter emerging maritime threats and maintain maritime security, China has invested considerable resources in developing advanced anti-submarine helicopters tailored to its unique operational requirements. By developing its own anti-submarine warfare capabilities, China aims to reduce reliance on foreign suppliers and establish itself as a formidable maritime force capable of defending its maritime interests and asserting its sovereignty in contested waters. The Z-18F helicopter is the most typical, has been developed from the Chang'e Aircraft Industry Group Z-8, itself a derivative of the long-serving French SA321 Super Freelon. The Chinese Navy operates other naval helicopters, including the Z-9 and Ka-28. The Z-9 is small in size, unable to carry both submarine search equipment and anti-submarine weapons, and has a very limited radius of activity. The larger Ka-28 is limited by the landing gear layout, and it is difficult to mount anti-submarine weapons and the performance of the airborne detection equipment is relatively backward, and the combat capability in the face of increasingly quiet imaginary enemy submarines is also limited. The Z-18F platform has become the most pragmatic choice. Based on the basic structure and aerodynamic layout of the Z-8F, the aircraft replaced the composite main rotor and tail rotor, which reduced the empty weight, improved the engine and transmission system, and improved the fly performance. Also, the Z-18 platform also has the disadvantages of being bulky, but for aircraft carriers with ample space, this shortcoming can be tolerated. Its huge size and load capacity bring ample equipment layout space. It is reported that the Z-18F can carry four anti-submarine torpedoes, which is a huge improvement compared to the previous Z-8. There are two cantilever external pylons on the left and right sides of the middle of the fuselage while most Western anti-submarine helicopters have only two external pylons. The aircraft can easily carry four Ju-7K anti-submarine torpedoes. It has a range of 14 km at a speed of 40 knots and a large weight of 235 kg. In addition, it can carry four Eagle Strike 9 air-to-ship missiles. It has a flying speed of Mark 0.85, a range of 18 km, a large weight of only 105 kg. The Z-18F has a search radar installed under the nose. According to public data from the air show, the detection range of the ZLC-1 radar can reach 150 km. The detection range of stealth medium-sized surface ships and missile boats is about 100 km, and the detection range of the sea-skimming anti-ship missiles, submarines, knockers, and periscopes is about 50 km. The Z-18F anti-submarine warfare variant is equipped with a dipping sonar 
and reports suggest that it can carry up to 32 sonoboys and four lightweight torpedoes, such as the Zoo 7. It has a prominent chin mount surface search radar, and it is probable that the aircraft is fitted with a datalink like the Ka-20S in service with the People's Liberation Army Navy, enabling it to operate in third-party targeting mode for long-range anti-ship cruise missiles launched from frigate or a destroyer escorts. In summary, the Chinese Navy's domestic anti-submarine helicopter development program represents a crucial aspect of China's broader naval modernization efforts. It symbolizes China's quest for a technological advancement, military self-sufficiency, and strategy autonomy in safeguarding its maritime domain and asserting its presence on the world stage. None of the current People's Liberation Army Navy destroyers or frigates will be able to support the 13.8 ton maximum takeoff weight of the Z-18, so in the near term, it will be limited to operating at sea from the carrier nailing and the three Type 071 amphibious landing platform docks. The anticipated construction of the Type 081 landing platform helicopter ships and the Type 055 destroyers could increase the number of platforms that are capable of embarking the aircraft.